Carly Intel tweets, Activision has created Call of Duty Warzone mobile Instagram account, which is also verified. Yeah, well, there it is. There's also a private Twitter account at Warzone Mobile. Info coming on Warzone Mobile coming at COD next September 15th. Now, I know that mobile gaming is considered huge and everything. And listen, I don't go outside. So maybe this is just like out of place for me to say. And it's not a diss to mobile gamers, but why don't I see as many mobile players like in the wild? Now, say you're a mobile gamer, right? Do you just still play the mobile game just at home? Because I mean, that's what I would do when I was younger, I'd be playing a PSP or some shit, Nintendo shit, Sony shit, didn't really matter handheld, and I would sit in my room and I would play it for hours. Every day, I would just walk around the house just playing the shit. I would play it when I would go outside as well. So, are hackers like really common on mobile games? Like just some crazy shit? Where like people are like hacking their currency or some shit? I don't know. Because I remember when people were playing a lot of uh, COD Mobile and like posting it and shit, like actual multiplayer PC slash console players playing COD Mobile, a lot of people were running around on COD Mobile with literal like mouse and keyboard inputs. So remorse just running people's thumbs over with their full-blown setups and i'm not even going to talk about that whole debate with you know mouse and keyboard controller versus all that shit it's pointless just play whatever is comfortable man it's a literal touch screen versus a mouse and keyboard it's just it's not even in the same realm of control i'm not saying you can't be good on it it's not what i'm talking about i always feel like i have to walk on eggshells whenever i'm talking about this kind of shit because some of my sarcasm just people don't catch it they don't know me i get it i talked about it when i actually made those cod mobile videos where like there's surely some people out there that are very good on mobile games and then sure Sure enough, I was getting linked and tweeted at by a whole bunch of different people that main this kind of shit, and they have been for a year, and they're insanely good. But again, they also would consider somebody plugging mouse and keyboard in against, you know, that kind of shit. They would consider that. that that's not what we're doing here. It says mobile. Stop turning it into an actual setup, you know what I mean? But speaking of stupid debates, the whole CDL versus Warzone Pro thing, I think the whole debate was like, which one would be more successful trying to pick the other one up? A really high tier Warzone player trying to go to the CDL Pro uh, multiplayer league? and learn in that whole environment or a CDL pro thrust into Warzone's best lobbies that doesn't necessarily have like a circuit or a league or whatever it's a BR but thrust into a completely separate kind of league or whatever and it's stupid because the obvious answer isn't even the answer that people want like they're both just good in their respective things that they're obviously pro at. they can both be good in both ways in terms of what is easier to get better and more accomplished at it depends really where you want to end up drawing the line for half of this shit how's the accessibility it's a fun topic for people though because they know that they can't necessarily get an answer without people you know playing against each other so they had some 1v1s and shit i think a lot of people they basically just split hosts and shit like that and warzone players are beating cdl players and then people are backing up cdl players by saying like oh skump won this warzone tournament thing or some shit like they're all good what do you know they're separate skill sets on the same kind of game i'm hoping that modern warfare 2 could actually make it so it feels like i don't know somehow the multiplayer doesn't feel like this completely different thing i really do have high hopes for mw2 multiplayer like i'm gonna play a lot of Warzone 2 when it comes out, don't get me wrong, although I will be a little bit busy at the start of that since we're gonna have the whole, uh, dark picture shit going on, but I'm excited for that. 2022, the year, it's just kind of been weird so some people were arguing against me because basically i made the argument that uh i think that maybe multiplayer would be better off if warzone 2 just kind of died like if it just completely flopped i'm not wishing that it would flop or anything like that but i'm trying to look on the bright side like if it did flop with you know some of the stuff that we've been hearing right i had a good amount of optimism that you know there would be a possibility that more people would still like modern warfare 2 but you know warzone 2 just isn't it some people were making the argument that they believed that they would be able to go back and play warzone 1 but then i said that you know, there's no way that they're going to update it and shit. They're just going to put all of their work into Warzone 2 and doing every single trick in the book that they possibly can to try to bring you to the game and also pull on your nostalgia. Guaranteeing you now, Warzone 2, if they see some sort of like terrible launch and shit, I'm telling you right now, the second map that they make for this shit, if they do the same thing like they did with Verdance to Caldera, they're going to have their launch map. And if everything just goes bad, they're throwing out a Verdansk remake. There's no way they won't. So we're expecting COD Mobile to get announced there. Hopefully, you know, there's not too many issues. From what I know, doesn't Apex have like a mobile thing, right? There's another game that also has like mobile stuff. And it's basically just like a completely separate uh, server and stuff. And it's not like, you know, mobile players are going to play against like actual PC players and all that shit. But they can sit there and, you know, uh, log into some shit on their PC and then play through that through like an emulator or some shit like a lot of people did with COD Mobile, you know, it might not be very fun. I'm just saying. That's why I was asking about how common it was for people to like do this kind of shit. There was also like a bunch of talk last night about like orgs and other shit. Like I'm not even gonna go into like the drama about it or whatever because I don't know all the details of the shit. It's also not my place. But one thing I got out of this though, looking at it, a lot of people have such like different clashing perspectives on what they actually think the like 
whole gaming community and esports space is and i'm not trying to undermine our community here like i'm not trying to talk down on it or anything but people for whatever reason think that this kind of shit is like super official in the way of like the nfl and all of this other shit and there's like unions and very very young like people think that this shit has been around for like a long time the whole aspect of this whole space even existing and being an actual space where people can make a living off of it is all like insanely new still and it's not to make an excuse for any like you know bad shit that happens but people really don't like see how it is until you get there you don't even realize you're there until you're in it. one thing that's really cool is that a whole lot of people you know they got this whole mindset of like i want to grind i want to do this and trust me i push that shit a whole lot over time and i still don't even take my own advice considering how much i literally upload i have like three thousand total videos i've made <laughs> So, you know, I don't know when I'll take my own advice, but grinding day in, day out, eventually, absolutely will catch up to you. It is inevitable. You are not built different. I'm not built different. Eventually, that shit will catch up to you in one way or another. Your mental health, your physical health, your relationships, uh, all sorts of shit. Listen, work hard. But <laughs> I've told stories over years. If you were around for a really long time earlier in my channel, I would tell all these stories about, it's kind of like, quote, getting into like real life. When you realize that, it, at least for me, when I was a kid, I was thinking that shit was just set up in this way that was just done in this like such an amazing organized perfect way and everybody that had a certain job ended up doing it properly and there wasn't that whole aspect to it of like why they're doing a good job or a bad job whether or not they should even give a shit about the job but there's a whole bunch of talk about that shit and you realize once you get into this shit that just because somebody has a title or they have a job doesn't necessarily mean that they're even good at it like when i was younger and some 40 plus year old dude is just sitting there telling me about this is how you do this this is how you do that i've been a carpenter and i've been this all these years and all this shit then you have another one of the dudes same age saying some shit like hey he's got no idea what he's talking about this is what they do now blah 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 like it is just ever changing information and development 30 years ago like a dude will get a degree like 20 years ago and they don't know shit now it's like assuming someone that has like the title of some sort of like building trade you expect them to know virtually everything about building trades but that's just not the truth that's just not how it is there's nuance to shit you might have learned one thing you might have been better at one thing than another you might have done this there might not be somebody to sit there and make up for that weakness in that guy's job basically that's what i feel like with this whole thing there's a lot of nuance to this shit there's a lot of things that you just don't really know or understand why they worked out the way that they do it's just kind of how shit goes a bunch of stupid ass debates cod mobile modern warfare 2 has been on my mind this entire time again like i was saying before i had this idea that maybe just maybe multiplayer could benefit from warzone 2 not being that great but then some people were like, well, I'll just move on. I just won't play the game. And it's just like, say Warzone 2 just sucks. And then they say that they're not going to support Warzone 1. Are thousands of people, millions of people potentially going to like band together and just stay on Warzone 1 and just refuse to touch Warzone 2? Just cross your arms and say, fuck you. Like they did with Caldera, right? Like there are still a lot of people that are playing it. But if you were a former Warzone player, right? Did you replace that BR with another BR? Or what did you move on to? I'm curious. What, what are other people playing? Obviously other BRs exist. But nothing is really taking the spotlight right now. Fortnite has just been, you know, Fortnite. Are people really going to sit there and just deal with the fact that they don't like it? Because I don't think they will. I don't know. I'm actually just super hyped that I'd be able to play the campaign early and shit and just, oh, it's going to be so good. Now, it's going to be earlier before the actual release date on the 28th or whatever, but I might not be able to upload it as soon as that campaign thing for Modern Warfare 2 is available. So I might have to wait like a day or two. I don't know. I'll see. I'm excited for it though. I'm, I'm happy they're doing it that way. They should do that shit like that every single year.